Hi YouTube, this is Kristen Moonrise. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be like a voiceover or journaling, reflection, meditation, maybe even video. Uh, last video of 2023, so it's a 2023 wrap up and energetic startup for 2024. And I'll have a tarot card towards the end to kind of bring in this new 2024 energy. So I hope everyone is enjoying the holiday season. Definitely check out my last video on the full moon in Cancer about family dynamics and releasing trapped energy. And the video before that is good also on the new moon in Sagittarius on your journey thus far. So really good videos about wrapping up 2023 and just a lot of reflection. So. I am a data scientist and an astrologer. You may book me for individual and business consulting. My contact information is below. So let's get into releasing the 2023 energy and filling so we can fill up for 2024. So certain years are about planning, certain years are about building, awakening, etc. And so 2024 for me, I feel is a year of embodiment and pleasure. Basically no Fs given. We're doing what we want to do. We've gotten this far. It's time to show off. So take a minute to think about all of the inner work you've done this year, your identity. So who are you? What is your purpose? How do your loved ones and the world see you? How do you see you at this point in your life? That is a big deal for me on this channel is really helping others really get to know who they are and really ask themselves certain questions, look at things from a different perspective. So this is all about your identity. I think it's important for us to go into 2024 knowing ourselves as much as we can and going forward of course knowing yourself even more going even deeper but at this point you should know as much about yourself as you can um, with the expectation of expanding even more so what is your identity your purpose who are you can you define yourself what baggage can you leave behind in 2023 how can you start with a clean slate in 2024? Be intentional with your words. Be intentional with your thoughts and your actions. You are an expert in your field. This is no more acting like you don't know anything. You do know, show it off. No more hiding. Leave all fear and hesitation behind in 2023. The energy for 2024 just doesn't have any room for that fear and hesitation. So this is a time to really trust in the divine. Co-work with the divine. This should be a daily thing. Have some sort of ritual practice. Do not talk yourself out of what you desire. Affirm your desires. Be your desire. Visualize the up-leveled version of yourself. This includes asking yourself, what do you look like? What does the up-leveled version of yourself look like? How do you speak? How do you walk? What clothes do you wear? Don't be afraid to see yourself in a new light. Who are your friends? Where do you live? What are you available for? How do you become more like this better version of yourself? Try to close that gap on where you are now and where you want to see yourself, where you want to be. Envision actively living the life that you want. So that means you may have to close some doors. What doors need to be closed in order for you to be that version of yourself? 
what doors need to open for you to be that version of yourself? What opportunities do you need to make that happen? Consider your mistakes, your disappointments in 2023. How can you reroute or transform them? How can you make them work in your favor? Turn your negatives into positives or at the least neutralize them. How will you keep going in 2024? You have control over your life and full control over your emotions. There's a lot of obsession online about narcissists and this person did this, this person did that. Stop putting your energy into that nonsense. Get over it. Overcoming the, the silliness all starts from within you and what you decide to be available for. Don't feed that energy. I remember a elementary school teacher said, don't give a clown a show. So I would say that's energy to definitely take into 2024 with those that you know bring the drama, but they only bring it because they know that you feed into it. Claim that no one will exhaust you in 2024. If someone is draining your energy, don't allow them to do so. So again, claim that no one will exhaust you in 2024 don't give them that room to do so so i've got a picture of the tarot card the world here it is the last card in the major arcana which shows the complete journey this is you at the end of the journey this card represents fulfillment being centered harmonious you're embodied you've overcome the obstacles you've gone through all of the emotions to get to where you are you have the insights you completed the journey a completely different person you've changed your mindset is different you can now teach others what you know people look up to you now you are the example so there's no way that you can go back to your old self because you just aren't that person anymore. So this is a time for you to harness your magic. You are harnessing your magic now. This is about victory. The cycle is complete. It is now time to walk in your power. So overview. Don't let 2024 be just like any other year. It just doesn't carry the energy. Don't be disrespectful to 2024 and treat it poorly. Let it live up to its promise. So if you've been working on yourself over the past year at least, this should be easy enough to grasp this concept. And if you're still struggling with your identity, continue to check out my moon videos um, as I talk about on each new and full moon energies to release and uh, start or if you need additional help definitely book a natal or solar return session with me or any other session that you see on my website this also includes your business identity and strategy and anything regarding your employees my contact information is below in the description box. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a, a happy end to your 2023, and I wish you well in 2024. I will be back. Uh, probably the first video I will um, post is the new moon in Capricorn. I may come back sooner. I don't know, but definitely that one. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.